Hi, I'm Srikant Prakadam. In this video, I explain the steps you need to take to get started with Anaconda. Anaconda is the distribution which includes a lot of libraries related to data science and also the tools. As you can see here, when you go to anaconda.com and then download link, you're going to see everything you need to get started in data science on your workstation. If you want to install the required tools and libraries in your system regarding data science, it has to be Anaconda. So let's get started. Go to this download URL and then just go and then download for Windows. I'm using Windows system, so it's showing me the Windows version. So once I download this, I'm downloading this into some folder in my system. Well, you can put wherever you like. So in my case, I'm putting it in data science folder. I already downloaded this and that is the software, which is Anaconda 3 2023.09. That's the version. And that is the size of this software. Now, what you need to do is just double click on that. So when you double click on that, the installation begins. So all that you need to do is go to that folder and double click on that. So here software and double click on that. It's going to start the Anaconda installer. It may take a little time to start the installation and also the installation process can be very time consuming. So be ready to spend some time. Well, here is the installer. Just go ahead and say go to next and agree. And then it's asking you whether you want to install it just for you or for all users. If you are the only user using your system, then just go with just me, which is recommended. And if you install it for all users, then you need to run certain things with uh, admin privileges. Just go ahead and then select next. And it's asking you to specify where you want to install it. So wherever you want. And it needs a 5.7 GB because it installs lots of libraries and then a lot of tools. That's it. Go ahead, do this. I don't do it because I already installed in my system. I cancel this, but you have to proceed. It can take some time depending on how fast your system is. It can take some time. So once Anaconda is installed, you get a menu called Anaconda 3 here. This is the way you get the menu. And there I want you to select this option, Anaconda Prompt. You can also select Anaconda Navigator, which gives you a dashboard kind of thing. From there, you can run different tools. But I'm specifically interested in Jupyter Lab. So I go with Anaconda Prompt. Now, while you're running Anaconda Prompt, you may, in some cases, want to use admin privileges. So if you want to do that, just go there. And you need to then wait there, right click. And in the more, select run as administrator. So Anaconda Prompt, more, and run as administrator. So this allows you to run the Jupyter Lab or other tools with administration privileges. Sometimes it is needed. If you have any access denied kind of messages, then please do that. Now go to the folder from where you want to start it. The advantage in going to the folder is all the notebooks that are there or the directories that are there will be displayed in your Jupyter lab. So I go to D drive, I go to a folder called classroom. And from there, I want to run my Jupyter lab.
So when you start this, it is going to start. It may take a little while. And here is the way we start. It. So I already started that to save some time. So I went to this folder and I executed Jupyter Lab and it started. And once Jupyter Lab is up and running, it is going to automatically start your browser. So this is your browser and you have that folder. If you go there, this is your classroom folder. If I go to DS, I find a lot of things there. Now, if you want to create a notebook, well, by the way, this is Jupyter Lab, an enhanced version of a Jupyter notebook, because this allows you to create notebooks and have multiple tabs and drag and drop, etc. I always prefer to work with Jupyter Lab versus Jupyter Notebook. Now just go there and if you want to create a new notebook, just click on that. It's going to create a new notebook and then keep using notebooks. So this is to show you the steps to get started with Anaconda. So step one, download. Step two, install that. Step three, go to your menu and go to Anaconda prompt. And from that prompt, you have to say Jupyter Lab, and it automatically starts your browser and it is going to give the URL. And there you can go and create notebook. Well, if you don't find Ancha, no problem. You can still go to file and then select new, then notebook. It will create a notebook. That's it. That's about how to get started with uh, Anaconda. Hope you learned something new. So use it. Enjoy your Anaconda. Enjoy notebooks and have fun. All the very best. Keep learning.